familia realeza, bienvenido a mi canal si eres nuevo or welcome back if you are old here. I'm Leila Simcha for those of you guys who do not know and I post faith and fashion videos every single week. Recently I've been posting just about every single day so definitely subscribe so you do not miss any of my videos. Feel free to like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm and give me a comment down below if you like my video or just want to share your thoughts. I feel like I should give you guys a little bit of an OOTD situation, but I don't know. For me, this is an outfit I've worn pretty frequently. I mean, it's something, you'll see me put this on every once in a while, like a black top of some sort with long sleeves, with these pants that I got. I forget where I even got them from, but I've had them for a while. Um, but yeah, this is, I would show you guys and explain more in depth, but this is like, a safe clean put together outfit but i'm not really into safe outfits lately like i like things that i know are complex um when i'm dressing myself i like things that i know um it took more time than this to put it together so yeah not really feeling this today although it is still cute it is still um conservative it still uh serves me but it's not i don't feel like this is my best so yeah Anyway, um, this video is a little bit different. Get ready with me for the ball. If you guys didn't know, I am going to my first ever ball on Sunday, June 5th. So I wanna show you guys the behind the scenes preparation for that. I just got an order that came in yesterday for my shoes, which is really exciting. Um, today I got my hair done, as you can see. It's refreshed, revitalized, way <laughs> um, And Let's see, today is the second, so tomorrow my nails are supposed to come in, so that's right. This time I opted to not go to a salon to get my nails and toes done, and let me just explain to you why. So whenever I go and get my nails and toes done, I feel like it's just a little bit awkward because I'm not a person who will like talk you to death, like that is just not me. Um, so and they kind of know that in the shops that I had been going into frequently, they're like, oh, she doesn't really like to talk that much so um it's it's always really quiet and even when i do um talk a little bit try to engage them in conversation they're like yeah yeah and then they like go back to what they're doing which i appreciate i like for them to be focused on what they're doing um but yeah that's one thing but my last experience i went to a shop that i don't normally go to and i was just sitting in there and i felt you know kind of off a little bit of anxiety or something and i knew it was not from god um, there was just something off about the atmosphere of this place. Uh, the people around were not, um, well, let's just say they were yelling, <laughs> some of them, uh, making inappropriate comments at times. And this is like one of the most popular nail salons in this city. But the workers there, I'd say they're a class act, that they do their jobs and they do them well. Very much concerned with the satisfaction of every single customer. Uh, it's a really high quality place, but because it's so popular, they get a mix of people in there, so you really never know what to expect from the people. Um, and unfortunately, I came at a time where there were people who were on the louder end, and I'm a person like, I want to be relaxed when I'm getting my nails and toes done, and that did not help <laughs> the situation. Um, so I was in there, I was praying to myself a little bit, you know, because if anything, I should not be feeling anxiety. Uh, the spirit of fear will try to come upon us at times, but we have to reject it, resist it, and rebuke it immediately by speaking the word of God over ourselves into the atmosphere. So that's what I proceeded to do while I was there. Um, but I also realized that I want to be a really good steward of the money that God allows me to have. And I, I calculated how much it would cost to keep getting my nails and feet done twice a month every single month for the rest of the year and then i compared that to the expense of buying all of the products that i would need to do my own nails at home and do my feet you know all the pedicure equipment as well and that was significantly lower than the price tag of going twice a month to get my nails and feet done so i was like you know what i really could do this myself i started investing in products um all the things that i would the essentials for doing my own nail care and foot care at home i will show you guys that whole process of me doing my own nails for the first time ever um in this capacity and they look just like acrylics um, but I'll show you that if my nails come tomorrow or whenever they do come. Oh, 
Shavuot Sameach. Many of you guys know I'm standing in my spot right now where I make prophetic declarations into the future of what God has shown me for my life. So, getting ready to do that now. Okay, guys, so I was debating on whether I wanted to like go home and have a little pamper session right before the ball, but I'm gonna go out to eat with mi familia and just go to the ball after that and get ready. So, that is what's happening. Um, we're going to ask Robert Brooks to come up and bless our food for us, and after which the service will come and direct the Enjoy it. That as we come today, Lord, that we will be able to celebrate the accomplishments, celebrate all that you've done in their life. Now we ask that you will bless the food, that it will be a blessing and a nourishment to our bodies, that we would celebrate.
the way that me personally, I like to fundraise, I like to put different petitions, make sure that people recognize the change that is needed in the society. And so I think we can't make change unless everyone is involved. To Mr. Nigel Jackson, you are the awardee of the Bishop Priscilla Moore Healy Scholarship. This year's Juneteenth Scholarship is Jackson Nelson Scholarship, which will be presented by Mr. David Nelson. pictures thanks to this sweet lady who complimented me on my dress and I had a nurse say, oh, this is not too much trouble. Can you like take a picture of me? And like she did it just right. Like she knew exactly what to do and that is like moments to live for, you know. But the Lord worked it out for me to have a really good time here with it being my first ever ball. It's just easier to record in the mirror so here we are. Um, I want a prize. <laughs> so what I want since first and if you guys don't already know or don't remember, that's where I got my purity ring from. Um, but it is a gift certificate to go buy whatever I want from there. And I got this cucumber melon scented hand sanitizer. It's an antibacterial hand gel. Cool, or whatever. <laughs> um, Last but not least, in this old package, I got hmm, this Firth's Jewelry Cleaner. It says gold, diamonds, precious stones. That'll come in handy. <laughs> um, but yeah. I call that the favor of God. If I don't know what else is, I come to a ball, which was automatically the favor of God and how he worked it out. And then I win something too. Come on, somebody. <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope you all have a blessed night. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Definitely keep up with me. I've got a lot going on, a lot of videos coming. Um, so yeah, like, comment, and subscribe as it helps with the YouTube algorithm so my videos get more noticed. And on that note, I'm going to say I speak the shalom, peace of God over you. And I'm going to say, ciao, familia realesa.